Good morning and welcome to Las Vegas, second day of the NAB 2013 conference. Uh, today we're going to be looking at production music, uh, companies um, of five alarm music, killer tracks, video helpers, and Warren Chapel. A little bit later we'll be looking at Lacey hard drives, and then finally we'll look at uh, cameras uh, by Canon, Panasonic, and Sony. Hey, I'm sending it off to you, Steve. All right, thank you so much, Terry, for that introduction. We are here on the show floor at NAB 2013, and we got some really cool stuff to look at today. The first thing up on our agenda is video production music and sound effects. You make a video, you want to put music to it, maybe you need sound effects for it. Uh, you don't always have a friend uh, who can go out and uh, round up 80 uh, piece orchestra for you to compose a score for. So you need a little help with that. And also we want to stay legal so you can't just go and rip the latest Beyonce off, uh, off YouTube. So we have a bunch of solutions here. The first one we're going to look at, uh, we got killer tracks over here. Uh, they also have partnered with Pro Sound Effects. Pro Sound Effects, of course, is doing all the sound effects. Imagine that. So they have a library. Uh, Pro Sound Effects says they add to their library. Um, you can do an a la carte, of course, or you can subscribe to their catalog. They update uh, once. Uh, they update about every month, but every quarter they do a big update. Uh, and, of course, everything is, uh, they say, IP-based authentication so for universities who want to put this in the lab. They can have it so the students can just use it within that lab environment. So a lot of great sound effects for you to use. Killer Tracks, of course, has a bunch of uh, different music uh, that you can, you can add to your, your video for different moods, different feels. Uh, another great one is Warner Chapel Music. Of course, uh, not only do they have a library with thousands and thousands of songs you can use, it's kind of like an iTunes library that you log into a browser catalog to see what, what fits your production. Uh, but if you really have a lot of extra cash lying around and you don't want to give it to me, you could you could actually use them to custom make some of your own music. And then we also have uh, Video Helper. Uh, and I, I download the Video Helper app. Uh, you can, of course, go through and listen to a bunch of their same thing. Log in, find songs that match your feel. Um, all the songs kind of have the same, basically the same tempo, the way they start, the way they finish is all the same, so you kind of know what you get, and it's a little bit easier to loop if you need to. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Five Alarm Music, which is another great product. Looks uh, like a lot of uh, good variety of music for, for video productions that you need. Uh, of course, um, a lot of these guys, they do a la carte if you just kind of need that one-off. Uh, but if you're a university uh, and you need something for your students, for music, for whatever productions they're doing, you can subscribe to a whole catalog that they can browse themselves. So. A lot of really neat stuff to check out on the web. And uh, OK, we're going to move on to our next segment. All right, we are here in the Lacey booth, or Lacey booth, potato, potato. And they got a bunch of really cool things. Uh, one of the things we want to talk about right here, they got a bunch of new ruggeds. Uh, they're solid state drives that come in different sizes. And of course, they are um, a little extra protection for people who uh, might be going camping, hiking, backpacking, or just plain clumsy. Um, they also come with different connectors. You got Thunderbolt, USB 3, USB 2, so you got the whole gamut there. Some pretty cool things to check out there. Uh, we also have the five big Thunderbolt and five big NAS. Uh, the five big Thunderbolt comes in RAID 0, 1, and JBOD, and there's rumor they're going to start doing uh, RAID 5 as well in the future. Uh, so that, that's a pretty cool set right there. And then the, the NAS one actually comes with a uh, um, VGA out, so you can put, hook it up to your computer. Comes with an operating system on it that can actually send you alerts if your RAID array is starting to uh, not feel so well. Uh, also, that one has an extra cool feature, um, other than the fact that it's, of course, networked, is that you can actually put different size drives. So you have a 500 gig drive, you have a two terabyte drive. You can actually mix and match drives. Doesn't matter the size, it handles it all, knows what to do with it all. So for people editing large amounts of uh, HD video, 4K video, stuff like that, and uh, you need some place to store it, um, these two are great solutions. And of course, if you're working with multiple people, uh, you might want to look at the networked one. So a uh, number of, number of uh, cool new things here from uh, Lessee. 
All right, I'm here in the Panasonic booth, or actually Panasonic area. They got a whole bunch of new products to show us. I'm gonna touch on just a couple of highlights real quick here. They have, of course, the new GH3, the Lumix GH3, that's their new uh, DSLR type camera that also shoots video. Uh, now this is a, a great new camera. It's actually an upgrade to the camera that we're shooting with right now. And some of the, some of the amazing features that it has is a, um, shoots at a real high bit rate. It'll shoot, I believe, uh, around 70 megabits per second. So you get a high bit rate, you get less noise, less artifacting, uh, better compression. Uh, so some of the amazing features, you got a toggle wheel on it, you got a, it's, uh, it's waterproof, not, well, it's weatherproof, not waterproof. Uh, a lot, uh, lot stronger of a, of a body. Uh, of course, still takes all the Lumix lenses, takes all your Micro Four Thirds lenses. So, um, so it's a real, real nice camera, real sharp looking camera. They also have the AF 100A, which is an upgrade to the 100. They've tweaked a few things in the firmware. You can go 422 8 bit uh, SDI, uh, HD SDI out. So if you have an external recorder, you can actually bypass the internal recording uh, compressing mechanism and get some really clean video there. Also, uh, they have uh, what was it, HPX 60. Uh, so it looks like a nice, you know, inexpensive studio camera. It has uh, BNC connectors on there, so you can go like HD SDI out. So they have a whole whole family of uh, you know ENG cameras, anything from a very small uh, compact form factor all the way to your 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 big guys. And another really cool thing uh, we're we're wanting to show off is uh, AVC Ultra. There's a whole family of Kodaks that they do. Panasonic has really been stressing compressing uh, large like 4K files into a very very small file size so they got a bunch of really cool cool neat things that uh, they're working on that are on the horizon some of them are out right now Steven you use it here in the Canon booth and Canon of course has a bunch of cool stuff some of the stuff we've seen last year but it's worth mentioning they have their cinema series of cameras and lenses uh, their cameras start at the C100 you also have the C200 uh, I'm sorry C300 and all the way up to the C500 which is a 4k 4K camera, uh, so these are all some really neat, neat tools for uh, video broadcast or for uh, video production, film, documentary stuff like that. They also have their DSLR camera that will shoot up to 4K. It's their 1DC. Their cinema cameras will, of course, they shoot. Um, they will shoot 4K. They shoot a Canon S Log. So for those of you who really want a whole palette of color to play with, these are the cameras. They also have other. Uh, a bunch of other cameras that are uh, pretty good for broadcast too. Uh, projectors, a lot of good stuff here at Canon. I am here in the Sony booth, which is always large, always impressive, always interesting. So many things to see. Just a couple of highlights. Uh, thinking about studio cameras, something like that, there's a whole NX series. They are uh, high quality but lower, lower cost, smaller financial investment cameras. Uh, if you will, and uh, they've, some of them have interchangeable lenses, uh, so you can uh, buy into uh, Sony's Sony's line of lenses. You can get adapters. You can go put Canon lenses on there. So a whole variety of cameras that are really good for for studio production. Uh, of course, uh, Sony uses their XD Cam uh, series of Kodaks, uh, which is a great series of professional Kodaks, uh, just like we saw with Panasonic's AVC Cam. Uh, an AVC uh, Ultra. Uh, their XD flavor, uh, very good. Uh, uses the MXF wrappers. Um, most NLEs, like Adobe Premiere, will handle that just fine. Uh, speaking of software, definitely the Sony series of software will handle their own stuff. You got Sony Vegas Pro 12. Uh, SoundForge, which now has a, uh, a flavor on Mac as well. A great audio editing program. Uh, also, for those of you who do music, they have Sony Acid. Uh, so you can use that to mix the loops. When you're all done, you can mix it with your audio, or mix it with your video in SoundForge, clean it up some more, then stick it in, in Vegas and render out your video. So um, they also have a new product called Spectre Layers. So if you have some kind of distortions, crackles, stuff that you gotta get in, there's a spectral anal analyzer, and you get in there and actually start cleaning up some of the stuff, uh, some of these errors, bumps, pops, hisses. So that's a new product. Uh, so there's a lot of really cool new stuff. Uh, more than we can cover in this video, so check out Sony's website, and uh, yeah, some good stuff. Thanks, Steve. Uh, today we were able to check out hard drives, uh, production music, and cameras. Tomorrow we'll show students a way to earn money while going through school. Until then, have a great day.